everyone. My name is Hannah. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. It's a super great day outside, so I decided to do my warm up outside. If you'd like to do the same, take a yoga mat out. I'm just using a towel because I don't have one. Otherwise, you can do it inside on your carpet. Whatever is great for you. So let's start with that, that march. Bringing those knees up nice and high. You can incorporate your arms into it. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Making sure that we're coming down on the ground nice and soft. The higher you go, the harder it is. The lower you go, the lower intensity it is. So choose your intensity as we get our heart rates up. Awesome. Do this for a few more seconds as we get our legs warmed up. Three, two, one. Awesome. We're going to go into a hamstring curl now. So bring that heel back to your hips just like this. Awesome. Really feel that contraction in your hamstrings in the back of your leg. And once you get down this motion, you can add this little scapula squeeze. Really squeezing at the back, warming up our backs and our hamstrings at the same time. Awesome, give me a few more of these. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go into a side step. So let's step to the side. Awesome. Once we're here, we're gonna incorporate a little arm. So think about you're shoveling a hole or something. So when we go towards like this, yeah, we're shoveling and we're throwing the dirt. This is gonna warm up our shoulder girdle. Still getting our heart rates up. Good. If you wanna flex your biceps, turn your fingers towards your face when you do this. Then you're warming up your shoulder girdle and your biceps. Awesome, give me that big flex. Three, two, one, awesome. Now take a nice shoulder width stance. And we're gonna go into some calf raises. So raise up onto your toes. You can do a little squeeze at the top. And now we're going to put our hands together. And when we come down, we're going to press our hands together and push them forward and back. Then we're gonna do another calf raise, forward and back. This is gonna warm up our chest muscles, really work them out. You can see from the side, this is completely up to you, the intensity the harder you press your hands together, the harder your chest muscles are working. Awesome, nice and slow, controlled, keeping that head in a neutral position. Give me a few more of these. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, next we're going to do a squat. So getting our glutes and our hamstrings and our quads all warmed up so again take that nice shoulder width stance we're going to drop it down just as far as is comfortable and shoot back up really engaging those glutes and those quads once we get this motion down i want you to put your hands up and do a military press at the top so we're squatting then we're pressing keep these motions nice and separate Woo. Just like this. Awesome, keep going. Good. And if you're really feeling into it, once we come up to the top, you can also do a tricep extension. So we're pressing and we're extending. Coming down, press, extend. Down, press, extend. Down, Press, extend. Awesome, working out our shoulders, our triceps, our glutes, and our quads. All in this one exercise. Man, we're really good at multitasking. 
All right, one more. Awesome, my heart rate's up for sure. So we're gonna work on some balance now. I want you to, again, take that nice shoulder width stance. You can put your hands on your hips. We're gonna do a little hula hoop motion with our hips, like so. Give me three to one side, really reaching to every side, and then to the other side. This is opening up our hips for our mobility and our hip muscle engagement. So tighten up that core. Try to keep that upper body and lower body pretty stationary and only move those hips. Awesome, give me one more. And break. All right, we're going to do a little toe touch motion here, balancing on one foot. So take one foot, we're gonna touch our toe to the front, to the side, and to the back. And then we're gonna switch feet. Front, side, and back. You can put your hands out like this to get a little more stability. Or you can just put them like this. You can also put them here, whatever is most comfortable for you. <clears throat> if you want to come back to the center after every touch, it'll be a little easier to balance. Awesome. Give me one more on each side. We're also working our glutes, both our maximus and our medius. All right, good job. We're gonna move on to a little stretching. So give me a nice big good morning stretch, stretch towards the sky or the ceiling, wherever you are. You can come on your tiptoes, roll out those wrists, then stretch one way, stretch out those obliques. Stretch the other way. Really feel that long stretch. You can stretch backwards to stretch out your abs. Mm, yeah, that feels good. Okay. And shake it out. Now we're going to do some shoulder and tricep stretches. So take one arm across just like so. Open up your shoulder into this stretch. You'll feel it mostly in your shoulder and a little bit in your tricep. and release to the other side. Again, release that shoulder into that stretch, making sure we're holding this arm either below or above that elbow joint. And release. We'll stretch our calves next. So if you want to put one foot in front of the other, we're gonna lean forward, keeping that back heel on the ground like this and we're going to lean forward, stretching out that calf. Awesome. And we'll switch. Go as far out as is comfortable. Keep that back heel on the ground as far as you can. And lean forward, stretching that back calf. Okay, next we're gonna kind of come into a little deeper stretch. We're gonna stretch out those hip flexors. So we're gonna just push our hips forward. You can come up here in this um, suspended lunge or you can rest your knee on the ground. Really pushing those hips down and forward, stretching that hip flexor. Let's switch legs. Again, pushing those hips down and forward, trying to keep a nice upright position with our upper body. Awesome. And go ahead and release that. We're gonna come back up to a standing. We're gonna have a nice straddle position and we're going to bend one of our legs just as far as we feel this groin stretch. This is our hip adductor we're stretching. And then once we feel that, we can push our hips backwards and feel it in our hamstring as well. That's a great stretch. 
to stretch a lot of things at once. Nice easy release into that other side, bending one leg, pushing downwards so we feel that groin stretch, and then pushing backwards so we feel it also in our hamstrings. After this, we're gonna take a seat. So get your yoga mat ready, whatever you're sitting on, shake it out, and we'll go ahead and take a seat here. All right, so we're going to take one leg out like this. We're going to put one foot into our inner thigh, and we're gonna to reach towards this extended toe. If you push that toe up towards the ceiling, you'll feel this in your calf as well as in your hamstrings. Reach toward, really release into that stretch. You're gonna exhale and release your muscles into that. And let's switch. Awesome, everyone's looking great. Some good stretching. Next, we're gonna lay down. We're gonna do some quad stretches. So we're gonna lay down on our backs. Whenever you're ready, come down to your back like this. We're gonna take, hopefully you can still see me. Our, we're gonna take our ankle like this. If you would like to bend your knee, you can. And we're just gonna put that foot to our sides and feel that stretch in our quad. Awesome, and let's switch. Okay, take that same leg, we're gonna take our knee, we're gonna bring it up towards our chest. Hold it here for a little. We're really stretching our glutes right here. Feel that nice long stretch. And let's pull it across our body for a little bit of a deeper stretch. Awesome, and let's switch. Pulling that opposite knee up to our chest. and across for a deeper stretch. Next, we're gonna go on our side. So right here, we're gonna do some leg raises. So you can bend this bottom knee for a little more stability or you can keep it out, whichever is most comfortable. We're gonna do 10 leg lifts. Nice, slow, controlled. Focusing on our hip abductors right now. And once you get to 10, go ahead and release. We're going to leave that top leg on the ground. We're going to bring that bottom leg up so we're working on our hip adductors. Just do 10 of these. Awesome, and switch sides. Start with those 10 hip abductors. Good job, nice and controlled. And put that leg down, and we'll work on our hip adductors with that opposite leg. Good, now we're gonna go supine, we're gonna do some crunches. So instead of going up, we're going to the side, we're going to kind of combine our rectus abdominis and our obliques at the same time. So we're going to lift our opposite elbow to our opposite knee, giving eight of these on each side. Awesome. Try not to pull our necks up. Really feeling that contraction in our abs. All right, awesome job, y'all. We're gonna do one more thing on the ground and then we'll stand up. So I want you to turn to your stomachs. We're gonna stretch out those abs that we just worked. So as far up as you can go, stretching out your abs. This is the cobra position. Breathe into that stretch. You can look up if you want. Really feel 
build a yogi in yourself. Awesome. Now we're gonna bring it back onto our knees for child's pose. You can put those knees out away from your body. Really stretch those arms up. And the more you press your shoulders down, the more you'll get a stretch in your chest and in your shoulders. So press those shoulders down to the ground. Stretch everything, elongate everything. In three, two, one, we'll come up to your hands and knees. And we'll do just a little bit of cat-cow. So we're gonna release our spine downward towards the ground. Then we're gonna push it up towards the sky, pushing our hips in and then opposite out. This will stretch our backs. It'll work our backs too. And it'll stretch our abs and a little bit of our hips. Give me one more of each. Awesome. And as you're ready, go ahead and hop up to the, the standing position. And we're going to end this with some jumping jacks. So you can do stationary jacks for low intensity, or you can do regular jacks. We'll go in three, two, one. Awesome. Keep going. We got this. Just a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome job, everyone. Have a good day.